This is a continuation of Lesson 11.2, and in this video, we are going to calculate some probabilities of some theoretical events that are kind of complicated. In our first example, uh, we're trying to find the theoretical probability of being dealt exactly two sevens in a five-card hand from a standard 52-card deck. So we're looking for the probability of two sevens. Okay, so first thing we want to do is find the sample space, and that would be all possible five-card hands. Well, this is going to be a big number because there's 52 cards in a deck. That's a lot of hands of cards. So to calculate this, we have to use our combination formula that we learned the other day. Of the 52 cards in the deck, we can choose five of them. So 52C5 will tell us how many possible hands that there would be in a five-card hand. Okay, next we need to find all of the possible ways to get two sevens in that five-card hand. Well, um, this is all ways to get two sevens. Okay, to get two sevens, we would take all the sevens, and there are four of them, and we would choose two. But then we still need three more cards, and each of the different combinations of three additional cards is going to affect our probability. So um, taking out all the sevens leaves us with 48 remaining cards, and we have to choose three of them to put with our two sevens. We will multiply these two things together because we're looking for two sevens and three additional cards, and and is a multiplication. So this is how we would calculate it. And if you put that all in your calculator, you find the probability is 0 0.0399, so about 4%. Okay, our second example, what is the theoretical probability of being dealt all four sevens in a five-card hand? So the probability of four sevens. So four sevens, we're going to choose all of them, but then we'll still need an additional card. And divide that by all possible five-card hands. And this is how we would set it up. This comes out to 0 0.00001. So, if you 1 8 actually. So, if you've ever played cards before, you know it's much more likely to get two sevens than it is to get all four sevens. Okay, in our last example, we're going to look at um, finding probabilities using areas. So a batter's strike zone depends on the height and stance of the batter. What is the geometric probability that a baseball thrown at random within the batter's strike zone, which is this yellow box, um, will be high and inside, which is the red part of the box? So we want to find the area of the yellow box, and that will be our denominator. So we're looking for probability high and inside, so that would be, denominator would be the area of the entire strike zone, which is 17 times 22, and the high and inside part would be just this red area, which is 4 times, I think that's a 6, we'll say it's a 6, and so this is how we'd find the probability of high and inside. So that comes out to 24 over 374, which equals 0 .064. So about a 6% chance that it will be in that small strike zone area. And that's it for Lesson 11.2, except for simulation, which we will do in class.